Hi, I'm Leaf, and today I'm going to be comparing the different versions of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. It comes in the regular Watch 4, the Watch 4 Classic, both of which come in two different sizes. There's a bunch of colors to choose from, there's Bluetooth only and LTE, so there's a lot of different models to choose from, which is great, except it makes choosing which one's best for you a little challenging. Also, one of the biggest complaints I've seen about these watches is their battery life, for lack thereof. So I'll be testing that out, and hopefully this will help you choose which one's best for you. This is not meant to be a full review of the Galaxy Watch 4. I have a separate video. I go into uh, all the different details of the watch, so check that out. And let's dive in. Samsung's Galaxy Watch naming scheme is a little bit confusing. The first Galaxy Watch had a rotating bezel, then they released the Active version, and then the Active 2. These were a little sleeker and didn't have the rotating bezel. They were marketed more as a fitness watch. Then they released the Galaxy Watch 3, which again had the rotating bezel. Now with the Watch 4, there's two different versions. The regular Watch 4 is a continuation of the Active series and doesn't have the physical rotating bezel. Then there's the Active 4 Classic that does have the rotating bezel. Samsung released both models at the same time with basically the same specs, but targeted at different audiences. The difference between the Classic and the regular Watch 4 is that the Classic has a rotating bezel, whereas the regular Watch 4 has this virtual bezel, which you can see around the outside of the screen. Because the Classic has the bezel, it's a little bit bigger than the regular Watch 4. It's also a bit taller. The body of the regular Watch 4 is made out of aluminum, whereas the Classic is made out of stainless steel. The Watch 4 is sleeker and weighs less than the Watch 4 Classic. The Classic feels maybe a little more premium with the stainless steel and is perhaps a bit more protected with the harder metal and the bezel around the outside, which can protect the screen. It also costs about $100 more than the regular Watch 4. Both the Watch 4 and the Watch 4 Classic come in two sizes. The Watch 4 comes in 40mm and 44mm, and the Classic comes in 42 and 46mm. The smaller sized 40mm and the 42mm have a lower resolution screen and a smaller battery when compared with the larger sized 44 and 46mm. The 2mm size difference between the Watch 4 and the Watch 4 Classic is because of the rotating bezel. All four watches have the same processor, RAM, and storage. Samsung's website says the battery life is the same for both sizes. However, there are a lot of reports on the internet that the larger size with the larger battery lasts significantly longer. So to figure out how the different sizes compare in terms of battery life, I ran my own tests. This was definitely not a super scientific test, but hopefully it will give you an idea of real world battery life. I left the settings basically how they came out of the box brand new. I did turn off Wi-Fi. When I slept with it, I turned on bedtime mode and I had blood oxygen and snore detection turned off. I tested each watch with always on display on and with it off. Basically, I put the watch on in the morning with the battery fully charged and I wore it till it completely ran out and I did not engage battery saving modes. I ran the battery down at least three times with always on display on and with it off on each watch to get a good average. I basically just went about my life, going to work, doing everything I normally would just to see how the battery would perform in real life. I also run about three or four times a week, so I was able to test how the battery performed while tracking a run and listening to music. I should also mention that all four of these models come with Bluetooth only or with Bluetooth and LTE. All of the ones I tested were the Bluetooth only versions. Here is a chart with the averages of the different sized watches with always on display on and off. I didn't differentiate the regular Watch 4 and the Classic as I found the batteries performed the same on both styles. I included the averages of days when I went on a run while listening to music and days when I didn't go on a run. I kept my runs to four miles to be consistent. The larger watches definitely performed better than the smaller watches. 
Running while listening to music had a pretty big impact on battery life. Always on display also impacted battery life quite a bit. With the smaller watches, I was generally able to get through a full day and night wearing the watch and then charging it in the morning. The exception being when I had always on display on and I went for a run. With the larger watches, with always on display off, I was able to get through two full days and nights. With always on display on, I was basically able to get through a full day and night and another day. So overall, not the greatest battery life on these watches. But honestly, given all the negative comments I've read online about the battery life, they did better than I was expecting. Of course, everyone uses their watch differently. If you run a lot of apps and are always interacting with them, or spend your day texting a lot on your watch, or you regularly go on 20 or 30 mile runs, you're going to find your battery life goes down significantly faster. So we've looked at the battery life, but should you choose the Watch 4 or pay a little more and get the Classic? I think it really depends on how you're using the watch and whether you really like the rotating bezel. While the rotating bezel is pretty cool and it's a nice way to navigate menus, the Watch 4 does have a virtual bezel, although I didn't find it nearly as satisfying as turning the physical rotating bezel. But it does work most of the time. I'm upgrading from an Active 2, which doesn't have the rotating bezel, so I'm pretty used to just swiping to get around menus. Other than the bezel, the biggest differences are really the size, weight, and look of these watches. The regular Watch 4 models are a bit lighter and feel smaller than the Classic models. They also have more of a modern, sporty look to them. The Classic is bigger and heavier and definitely has more of a classic analog watch look to it. The regular Watch 4 comes in four different colors. The Watch 4 Classic only comes in two colors, black and silver. I did want to point out that with the Classic, the black models in both sizes basically look the same, just different sizes. However, on the silver model, the smaller and larger versions look different. On the larger 46 millimeter model, it's more of a matte brushed silver look, whereas on the smaller 42 millimeter model, it's more of a shiny silver. I just wanted to point it out because it's not super obvious on the web when you look at pictures. There's also a ton of 20 millimeter bands available, so you can really customize the look of the watches. And the faces really look different with different colored watches and different styles. Of course, picking out which one of these is best for you really comes down to personal preference. For people who have smaller wrists like me, the smaller models definitely feel a little bit more comfortable. I could definitely tell the difference that the classic models were a little thicker and they felt just larger on my wrist. If you're the type of person who's fine with charging your watch every night or in the morning, then these smaller models will probably be all right for you. If, on the other hand, you're the type of person who runs a lot of apps and uses your watch for a lot of different things, or maybe exercises a lot, or really wants to use the always-on display, then you might want to think about getting one of the larger versions of this watch. Whether you get the classic or the regular Watch 4 is really just, you know, your own taste. Whether you like the look of the classic and the rotating bezel, or if you want more of a simple sporty look. There's also quite a big price difference between the very smallest Watch 4 and the large Watch 4 Classic. For me personally, I'm probably going to go with the larger version of the regular Watch 4. It feels a little bit big on my wrist, but I'm willing to compromise because of the increased battery life, and also I really like the larger screen. And while I think the larger Classic looks really nice, and I do really like the rotating bezel, it just felt too big on my wrist. I hope this video has helped you choose which of these models might be best for you and has also given you some idea of what the battery life is like. Please leave a comment below and let me know which model you picked and what kind of battery life you're getting. If you want more information about the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, please check out my full review. Please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.